Hey guys, this is Rich uh, with the Wireless Power Challenge. Today I'm trying to figure out whether or not I can charge a battery with a couple different components. Um, I've got the dev kit for um, the Worth Electronic Wireless Power Demo. We've got the base station and the receiver. Uh, a couple components that I ordered from Element 14 were these little Adafruit LiPo battery chargers and um, a little single cell LiPo battery. So what we're going to try to do is hook all that up and find out if uh, the wireless power module can efficiently charge this battery. First step with this little module is there's a solder pad on the back that you short and you up the charge current to 0.5 amps which is still like less than 2 watts. Um, our kit is supposed to go to 5 watts, so if that's true, we're going to go ahead and solder that now to make sure uh, we're getting the most charge out of it here. So for that, all you have to do is heat up both pads and put a blob of solder across it. And get them to ridge. Nice little solder ridge on there. So that's good to go. Now we're at the high current mode for this thing. I'm just going to go ahead and breadboard all this stuff up so you guys can see. Power coming from the receiver module through the breadboard here. Ground rails are coupled across and out of frame is a digital multimeter up there that uh, is set to measure current. So we are going to measure the current going through to the charge module and see what that is. So we're coupling and a little backwards polarity but we're looking at 0.38 amps, 0.4 amps. So that's a good sign. That's charging right where it should be. Uh, I think we're good to go. So I'm going to swap out to the other side with the digital multimeter and see uh, what it looks like. So take this off. So the setup we have going on now is measuring the actual charge current that's going from the charge controller into the battery. I'm just doing a test here to make sure this thing's not getting hot because we're screwing around a lot and these light bows can sometimes blow up as I think another person posted. So, let's see what we got. Alright, perfect coupling, there we go. So our status shows that we're coupling here and our charge controller shows that we're charging and our digital multimeter shows 0.16 seven amps so that's not a whole lot but we are going we're charging there's a battery for our little mini robotic submarine it's gonna be a very tiny one with this little battery I'm gonna kind of keep charge times down so that's a setup let's do some calculations and find out how long it will take to charge this whole battery so in the little experiment there, we saw that the charge current was around 150 to 200 milliamps. So given a 600 milliamp hour battery, we're looking at hmm, three hours plus charge time, uh, plus inefficiencies and everything like that, um, assuming that we completely drain the battery. Uh, that's not the best case scenario, but I do want to move on with the rest of the project. So we're going to leave that charge setup how it is because it's so simple. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to look into is getting a coil, um, something smaller that I can integrate directly into the vehicle, uh, getting our Arduino to control the whole thing, a uh, motor controller, a motor, and a servo, and that's pretty much going to be the submarine right there. So I uh, look forward to more updates and look forward to seeing this system kind of come together on my desk here. Thanks, guys.